we present two wearable on-body gesture systems, a gesture watch and a gesture pendant. Both systems were developed at the Georgia Institute of Technology and are designed to enable on-body control of any target device. The gesture watch. Here we show an individual using the gesture watch to control a DVD player that is attached to a large screen television. As you can see, the user is making a gesture that pauses the DVD player. Gesture interfaces are becoming more and more important. Mobile devices continue to decrease in size. Buttons on a device can only shrink so far before they become too small to use. Gesture input frees us from having to build devices constrained by the size of a human hand. Gesture interfaces provide a natural and comfortable way of interacting with very small devices. Shrinking devices is not the only reason to design devices without buttons. Traditional button interfaces are not always appropriate. They may be inappropriate in situations where visual attention is limited or where user contact may be unhygienic or messy. For example, manipulating a car radio often requires visual attention forcing the driver to take her eyes off the road. This creates a potentially dangerous situation. Likewise, a surgeon may not want to touch medical equipment while operating, but still wish to control devices such as microscopes or medical monitors. Non-contact gesture recognition can overcome many of these limitations, but has had limited application in mobile computing to date. The gesture pendant. Here we show an individual using the gesture pendant to control the same DVD player. As you can see, the user is making a gesture that fast forwards the DVD player. Both the gesture watch and the gesture pendant bring gestural input to the mobile world. Gesture interfaces can be integrated into the smallest of devices, may be performed touch free, and can often be performed while physically moving. In addition, gesture interfaces can enable users with physical disabilities to use computing devices that were formerly inaccessible. The gesture watch is made up of five proximity sensors that operate at a distance of approximately 40 centimeters. The sensors are connected to a BlueSense development board. Four sensors point up to track the hand gestures. One sensor points forward and acts as a trigger, turning the device on or off. The gesture pendant is made up of four proximity sensors and shares the same platform and data interface as the gesture watch. The sensors are activated by a switch and are laid out in the same configuration. Both the gesture watch and the gesture pendant communicate via Bluetooth to a computer which is running GART. GART is the Gesture and Activity Recognition Toolkit developed at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Designed as a toolkit to enable rapid prototyping, GART allows researchers and developers to design gesture-based interfaces without having to know machine learning. It enables developers to easily incorporate gesture and activity recognition into their designs. The computer is connected to an IR transmitter which controls the target device in the environment. In this video, we describe our current mobile gesture interfaces and demonstrated prototypes of our gesture watch and gesture pendant, both of which rely on GART. Gesture interfaces offer a unique interaction method suitable for use in everyday life.